All right, this is Liam here from Tinnitus Treatment, and as you can see, I'm coming from you, coming to you from my balcony here in Bali, Indonesia, and it's very hot and it's very hot outside somewhere in this jumper just to show you Tinnitus Treatment. I'm really in it for the long run, but I'm going to break down for you right now. Uh, ringing in my ears. Why do I have ringing in my ears? I get that question all the time, so I'm going to answer that question. First of all, if you've just come home from a rock concert and you have ringing in your ears that night, and maybe it's slowly going down that day, you might be lucky and you just have a bit of ringing in your ears from a little bit of your ears are getting overworked and a bit aggravated and you've hurt, you've potentially damaged your ears temporarily and maybe in a couple of days it'll go away. But if it doesn't go away, maybe it's been two weeks, three weeks, maybe you've had it for a couple of years, maybe you're looking for a solution, chances are you have what's called tinnitus. And that's exactly what I help people solve. Ever since I solved it for myself, I got it from noise trauma. There's a couple of ways you can get it, okay? You can get it from parasites, noise trauma, insulin problems, stress. All these things basically come down to a fundamental problem of diet. Here's the thing. I'm gonna break it down for you like this, okay? Diet is not necessarily what's going to cause your tinnitus, but diet is what is going to prevent you from getting over your tinnitus. The causation can be antibiotics, stress, um, you can have things like obesity and blood flow problems as well, alcoholism, drug abuse, you can be bulimic in the past, all sorts of problems, right, chemotherapy. But diet is going to be what is the defining factor of whether or not you get better or whether you get worse. So if you have tinnitus, you need to take action. You don't want to um, leave it for too long. There are, of course, stories of people who get rid of tinnitus just from kind of ignoring it and letting it go. But that's a big problem in the tinnitus industry. People say tinnitus is just in your head. I just ignored it and it went away. It's not because you ignored it. It's because sometimes it just goes away. I know people that stressed over it, stressed over it, stressed over it every day, and then it just went away after they didn't take any action. That can happen. But why would you leave it up to chance, okay? Now, if you really want to take action, really want to take action, excuse my English, it's very important that you do the following. Stop drinking tap water. Stop drinking coffee. Stop taking antibiotics. Now, the next one, stop taking antidepressants and medications. Consult your doctor beforehand, of course, because you can't just stop taking heart medications, you'll get sick. But if you have a blood, a, a blood pressure problem, excuse me, you need to start fasting. Let me explain something. As I said before, diet will be the determining factor as to whether your tinnitus goes away, unless it goes away on its own, right? But it's not what you eat and what you don't eat, it's more that you don't eat at all. You need to fast because if you have high eating frequency, you have high inflammation, which is aggravating your body and potentially worsening your tinnitus. Remember, these stories of people who their tinnitus just go away, that's because they inadvertently were doing the right things. Maybe some of them don't drink coffee. Maybe some of them don't drink alcohol. Maybe some of them did sober November and it just went away. It doesn't just go away. Unless you've done a little bit of damage from a rock concert, okay, or you had a stressful period in your life and your adrenal, um, you have adrenal fatigue and then it goes away because your diet is good, or you did Ramadan and it goes away. If you don't take action, most of the time it's not gonna go away. So I really implore you, I've got a really simple guide. All you have to do is click below. It's called leanstopsnitis.com and it's the beginner's guide. It's gonna show you how to prevent your tinnitus from getting worse, okay? Excuse me, and also completely eradicating it 100%. Doctors and ENT who say it's for life, tell them to fuck off. It's not for life, it's a whole lot of bullshit and it should be illegal to say that. It should be illegal to say tinnitus is for life. I had nine out of 10 tinnitus and now it's completely gone. So did other people as well and now it's completely gone for them. Go figure. Anyway. So click below, go to liamstopsnitis.com. It's a beginner's guide. It's going to show you how to get rid of your tinnitus. Really simple, actionable steps, okay? And it's completely free, okay? So click below now. And if all this guide did for you was to reduce your tinnitus just a little bit and give you a better night's sleep and allow you to sleep without having the fan on, even when you didn't want it on, wouldn't it be worth it? I suggest joining the other people who've been downloading this guide for free as well and click below right now. This, once again, this is Liam from Tinnitus Treatment. This is about ringing in your ears. Talk soon.